My name is Representative Ephraim Elliott and you've just been placed on alert. Welcome to the Elliott Alert. I have today my guest is Dr. Betty Wright. She's a our superintendent for the Dollaway School uh, System. And uh, I want to say welcome, Dr. Wright. Thank you. And, Glad uh, to be here. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I, I want to know, uh, I want to let you, uh, you know that, uh, I mean, you, you've taken the realms of superintendent at Dollaway High School. Uh, and I, I want to say, who, who is Dr. Betty Wright? Well, now that's a good question, but mm -hmm. I want to say that I think I know who I right. am. <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> First of all now, mm. Betty Ann Dunn Wright uh -huh. <laughs> was born in Talladega, Alabama. Talladega. Talladega. Now where is Talladega? It's um, very close to Anniston, Alabama, okay. which is almost on the Georgia line. Okay. I mean, almost, What's the population? Oh, probably about 35,000, 35, 40,000 okay. 40, people. Okay, so it's not a small all. town. It's not a real small town. I'd okay. say it's about the same size, I would say, as maybe Hot Springs. That's probably 30-some. Oh, okay. Thousand. It's not right. as resort. Mm -hmm. Well, it is kind of sort of now, though, mm -hmm. because uh, we do have the NASCAR race in there. That's oh. what most people will know that prior to that, okay. it was known for Talladega College, which is one of the oldest historically black colleges in the United States. Okay. Maybe the oldest one. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of the oldest for sure. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I lived there until I was 10 years old. Okay. And then my family moved to um, Perry County, Alabama, okay. which is the same county that uh, Coretta Scott King is from. So some in history fact, is in there. That's right. In fact, she's a distant relative of mine. Wow, okay. Uh -huh. And my uh, sisters and brothers attended the same high school, and I did too for two years uh -huh. as Coretta Scott King. Wow. And uh, But I ended up graduating because they had some kind of way they turned the city. They took all the, the kids who did not live in the city. They mm -hmm. barred them from attending wow. Lincoln High School, and that was during my junior year, right. at the end of my junior year. So uh -huh. my senior year, I ended up going to Robert C. Hatch High School, which was in the county. Okay. We did not live inside the city limits. Okay. In Talladega, we did, but not there, we did not. And mm -hmm. I ended up graduating from high school. I was president of my um, senior class, as a matter of fact, okay. and in so the choir. You've, and you've a lot always of been in leadership positions. Pretty much, okay. pretty, for some reason or another. Right. I don't know whether mm -hmm. it's in the genes or in my blood or what, <laughs> but anyway, I ended up uh, going, attending right. um, Stillman College, where I got a bachelor's degree in business ed and English. I was a high school. Where is Stillman uh, College? It's in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, okay. and it is um, a Presbyterian school. Okay. And mm -hmm. then in Talladega, I mean in Tuscaloosa, I met this guy from a place called Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Right. Had never heard of it. I <laughs> fess up. <laughs> never <Right>. heard of it. <laughs> so I had heard of Little Rock, but uh -huh. not Pine Bluff. So that that's and Reverend Wright. That's Reverend Wright. That's how I hooked up with <laughs> yeah. him. Uh -huh. He had come from the Presbyterian Church, Faith Presbyterian Church, mm -hmm. uh, to the a Presbyterian school. Okay. And I had gone to that Presbyterian school. I was at the Presbyterian school there. Mm -hmm. So we ended up moving to um, I moved to Chicago. Mm -hmm. where I had, my family had been in and out of Chicago for years, right. but I left and went there, I college and went there uh, out of, um, and, and he followed me there. Oh, okay. <laughs> he tracked me down, That's followed right. me there, <laughs> and we mm -hmm. were married, mm -hmm. and I ended up, you know, we raised our family a part mm -hmm. of the way there, and we mm -hmm. moved down to Arkansas later on. Right. But while I was there, I taught in Chicago public schools. Okay. I got my master's from Chicago State University mm -hmm. in, um, um, well, track back to, to Tuscaloosa first. Mm -hmm. I was in business and English. Okay. But then I switched majors when I got my master's okay. and to learning disabilities and reading. Okay. So you just need to t cut me off when you don't want me to talk about myself. <laughs> you said, hey, who is Betty Wright? That's, I'm trying uh, to tell know. you. We want to know. I'm trying to tell you. Uh -huh. And then we left. Um, I got my master's there, and it was so cold there. In Chicago? Yes. My husband said, I don't want to raise my family. Right. I hate cold weather. Of course, mm -hmm. I love cold weather. Mm -hmm. He likes hot weather. So right. he said, I want to move my kids back to Pine Bluff, Arkansas, mm -hmm. where I'm from, and raise them. That's what we did. Okay. So I taught at Carver for two years, and I be, which is right across the lake from UAPB. Okay. And someone Carver here Carver at, Elementary. Okay. Carver right. Elementary. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, I um, became principal in Pine Bluff School District, 34th Avenue. Okay. was there for seven years, and then I became assistant superintendent for Pine Bluff School District. My right. husband was running from the ministry the whole right. time we were married. <laughs> so he couldn't run any further mm -hmm. and any longer. He said, well, you know what, I'm going to have to go to seminary school. Right. Mm -hmm. So we moved to George. I just 
dropped everything. Mm -hmm. I thought I can find a job. Mm -hmm. Found my job over the telephone. Wow. And I was teaching at uh, Norcross High School. Got a job teaching at Norcross High School. Mm -hmm. EBD children, em emotional behavior disorder children. I was okay. there in that position for one year. Then I became a principal in Atlanta Public Schools. And wow. when so we finished with the training, I came back to Pine Bluff, and I, was, I taught at UAPB for three years. And then after that, I was kind enough to be hired by the Dollarway School District. So here I am today talking about Dollarway School District as a superintendent. Okay, so well, that's pretty much you. Betty Wright. Uh, there you go. You in went five down the line. Or less. <laughs> But so, I have taught in several, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've taught everything from P all the way through primary through uh, college, I have, and in several different states, too. Well, now, you, you mentioned in that that uh, you worked with emotionally disturbed exactly. children. Exactly. And you also, have, um, uh, you also have certification in, um, uh, I guess, special needs children as well, right? I do. I do. Okay. So um, I, I guess my question is, uh, all those different areas that you were certified in, it, does it uh, help you get a better balance on being a, a superintendent? It does, and one thing I did leave out mm -hmm. is, uh, which is uh, essential and not the most important thing, is that I did get my doctorate mm -hmm. in school leadership, educational leadership from the okay. University of Arkansas at Fayetteville. Okay. But uh, yes, knowing about general education and special education that uh, those two things really do fit into what I do because I get a chance to answer a lot of questions right. about special ed because mm -hmm. we do have some special need children right. and that's a department that I feel strong in so mm -hmm. I'm not intimidated by it right. some prince some uh, administrators are but I'm not intimidated about that right area well I tell you um, I have some more questions but we're gonna go to a break right now mm -hmm. um, and we'll find out more about Dr. Betty Wright. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll be back. Thank you. of a car crash. Three out of four kids are not as secure as they should be because their car seats are not used correctly. But the latch system makes it easier to get it right and to hold your kids tight. Anchor, tether, latch. Learn more at safercar.gov. Welcome back to the Ellie Alert. Again, I have today my guest, uh, the Miss, the wonderful Miss Dr. Betty Wright, uh, who uh, is the superintendent of our Dollarway uh, School District, and uh, who's uh, going to change our direction and make it such a positive and a wonderful uh, environment. Uh, not that it wasn't, but uh, she'll make it much better than what it was. Well, I'll try. <laughs> Definitely try. It. Right. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to ask you, Dr. Wright, as we were leaving for break, uh, you um, you mentioned some of the specialties that you have, but you know I know that you are a curriculum specialist as well. I am. Now, can you kind of elaborate on exactly what that is so our, our viewers would, would know? Because that's very essential uh, in um, uh, a, a district. Okay, first of all, as a curriculum specialist, I'm just going to give you the general okay. definition for uh, the curriculum. Okay. The curriculum would consist primarily of everything mm -hmm. that's done to kids, that's related to children while they're under the auspices of the school. Okay. Everything, for example, mm -hmm. Uh, they ride on the ride when they ride back and forth on the school bus. That's part okay. of the that's part, part of the curriculum. curriculum. That's okay. part of the curriculum. So the um, classes, the right. classrooms, uh -huh. the custodians. Who, okay. it, we, everything we do is focused on student achievement. Okay. So we have to have the bus drivers involved in it. That's mm -hmm. part of the curriculum. Mm -hmm. We have to have the custodians involved in it. That's part of the curriculum. Wow. We have to have the teachers involved in mm -hmm. helping the kids to achieve. So. Mm -hmm. What they teach is part of the curriculum. Right. It's not just 
the reading, the language, the math, the uh -huh. science, the social studies, and, mm -hmm. and the art and music, all of those things incorpor are incorporated in curriculum. Okay. But it's also the teaching learning strategies that the teachers do. Mm -hmm. The supervision at the school. Discipline is definitely a big part of the curriculum too. Uh -huh. And classroom management. There's a difference between classroom management mm -hmm. and uh, the the uh, discipline. Mm -hmm. So and the procedures that the that the t that the teachers use. Right. You can, some people think it's just really simple by saying, "Oh, what do you mean procedure? How are kids going to get into my classroom? Are we going to have them lined up outside the classroom? Mm -hmm. Are we going to have them in a straight line? Are we going to uh, when we seat the, have the kids seated? Mm -hmm. Are we going to have all the seats facing the teacher? Mm -hmm. Are we going to have the teacher at the back of the room? Some teachers arrange their room like that, and they sit in the back of the, the room to wow. watch all the kids. Mm -hmm. that, and you know, if you think about that, that, yeah. that is something. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how are you going to have your where are you going to have your bulletin board situated? Mm -hmm. All of the work that we see on the on the the bulletin boards mm -hmm. and things that's all part of curriculum. It's every the homework. The homework. That's a very mm -hmm. important part of, mm -hmm. of curriculum. So all of the experiences that children have or we expect them to have mm -hmm. while they're under the auspices of the school. That's your curriculum. Wow, that's a... That's a curriculum. That's of course, a, we got to look at the scope and sequence of what mm -hmm. we teach, too. Right. That's all curriculum. Everything all that we do right here, uh -huh. what we're doing here... Is part of the curriculum. part of our curriculum. <laughs> okay. It may be the unwritten part mm -hmm. of it, but it is certainly part of the curriculum. So everything we do... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not really complicated. Now, of course, you have to take a specific test. Right. <laughs> they have some specific courses. Right. And take a specific test mm -hmm. from in the Praxis series or whatever, or the National Teacher Exam, whatever uh, test they're using for that particular state mm -hmm. in order to be titled a curriculum specialist. So, so I did do that. Right. So you, you can't just uh, be a teacher and then maybe uh, uh, look at a, a, some kind of board and say, okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to take this test to be a curriculum specialist. There's some processes and procedures. You must have procedures. some classes, too. Okay. You must have specific classes. For example, mm -hmm. uh, I know we, uh, I'll just use myself as an example. Mm -hmm. I'm certified in, in probably five or six different areas, maybe mm -hmm. even more, for example. I'm a P12 reading specialist, not, mm -hmm. not reading endorsed. Mm -hmm. I'm a reading specialist. Now, which, what, what does that mean? You said reading endorsed and reading specialist. Reading specialty. endorsed what, what means that, that you, t you have, in addition to your regular uh, certification, mm -hmm. somebody went back or and picked up maybe uh, 10 or 12 hours oh, okay. to get endorsed. Mm -hmm. But a reading specialist has at least, you're going to find at least 24 to 30 hours of reading education. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that's what I am. Mm -hmm. Because remember, my master's was in learning disability slash reading specialist. Wow. So, and there's also a different test for that mm -hmm. as opposed to the to the um, reading endorsement test. Now, so, for, for mm -hmm. teachers, uh, I mean, do teachers have to do this or can they do it or is it just administrators? They can, no, they can do it. They become, they can become reading you mean being a reading specialist, right. uh -huh. curriculum specialist? Well, either. Okay, no, they have to take additional hours. Uh -huh. In order to be a curriculum specialist, you must have a master's degree yeah, okay. for one thing. Okay, that's it. Uh -huh. You must to be have. Certified in curriculum, you have to have a master's. A master's degree in yeah. a teaching area. In a teaching area. In a teaching area, mm -hmm. along with specific curriculum classes. Okay. And, and you must pass the test and for that. <laughs> you must pass thing. the test. That's right. Yeah, you have to. Now, uh, you said also a reading specialist. Do um, teachers who go through school and pass the, the teacher's test, uh, is it mandatory that they, they become reading specialists? No, after? sir. You it's don't just something have to. that they want to they, do. something they want to do okay. at interest level mm -hmm. or, or needs level, either okay. one. Mm -hmm. It's something that they just want to do or they feel that there's a need for it. Okay. It was both for me. Okay. I wanted to, uh, I've always been interested in reading. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll read all day long. <laughs> something I do in my job as <laughs> right. superintendent may mm -hmm. not be the kind of reading right. <laughs> that I want to do. For mm -hmm. example, I love reading inspirational yes. things mm -hmm. and I get a chance to read that first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. But most of my uh, reading that I do now is reading for information, school board policy, <laughs> <laughs> right? right. I, <laughs> Letters, I communications mm -hmm. from different, uh, mm -hmm. you know, aspects of our of my job. So, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. I, I tell you, that's mm -hmm. very interesting, and we're going to go to a break. And when we come back, we'll we'll talk about a little bit more about the the curriculum and, and the specialties and the, mm -hmm. your uh, vision for the future. All right, we'll, we'll be right you. back. Okay.
kitchen surfaces, utensils, and hands with soapy water. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Welcome back to the LA Alert. I have again my guest, Dr. Betty Wright. Uh, she's our superintendent for Dollaway Schools. And she was just telling us uh, all this wonderful information in reference to curriculum. Uh, and I, I just didn't even uh, know all of that. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you've just educated me now mm -hmm. on uh, what the curriculum is and what mm -hmm. to actually expect. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wanted to, to ask you this. Um, with all your various uh, certifications and your degrees and your master's and doctorate, how did that prepare you for being a superintendent? Um, good question. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. First of all, I, I am someone who has come up through the ranks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now just remember, a superintendent must know a whole lot of things. We right. don't have to mm -hmm. be specific in a lot of things, right. uh, in, mm -hmm. in a lot of things, but right. we generally must know a, a lot of things. When I mm -hmm. walk into a building, mm -hmm. I, I'll know where the good teaching and learning is going on in that building. Wow. And that is because mm -hmm. I have done every job in education, K-12 education. Wow. Now. Mm -hmm. To, except for two things, mm -hmm. except for the two things. I've never been a teacher's aide or paraprofessional. Right. Uh -huh. I've never been a paraprofessional. I've never been an assistant principal. Okay. Those are the two things that I've never been. Mm -hmm. But I know what they do right. because <laughs> I have worked, I've come through the ranks. I have been a teacher. Mm -hmm. I have been a principal. Mm -hmm. I have been a supervisor. Mm -hmm. I have been an assistant superintendent. Right. And, and of course, that's the stepping stone, stone. Mm -hmm. to the superintendency. Right. That you would be that, that. That way I know what goes on mm -hmm. down the line and up the line. Right. So mm -hmm. that's prepared me for it. I have been in uh, a lot of battles yes. in education. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've had lots of successes, too. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I mm -hmm. made my AYP mm -hmm. in, uh, when I was in Atlanta for seven years in a row. Wow. We made it for eight years, but the principal before me had already made it. Mm -hmm. After having not made it for five or six years, four mm -hmm. or five years, she made it the year she left. Now, and it, I explain mm -hmm. what AYP is. That's so adequate, uh -huh. yeah, adequate yearly progress. Mm -hmm. When uh, President Bush had the uh, No Child Left Behind legislation passed, mm -hmm. uh, one of the stipulations is that, you, that schools needed to make AYP. Okay. And if they didn't make AYP, then they would be penalized mm -hmm. to a certain extent. All right. Say, for example, they'd go on alert or they may, the worst case scenario, mm -hmm. you will have a state takeover wow. of a school or yeah. a school district yeah. Yeah, or school board or something. <laughs> uh -huh. That's the worst case scenario. Now, so that's what ad adequate yearly progress is. So getting back to your question about how was I prepared, I, I have been through, up through, I've come up through the ranks. Mm -hmm. And I've been in the battles. I know how to build consensus. Mm -hmm. I know how to uh, listen to problems. I know how to build success into a program. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I don't know, uh, say for example, I, I couldn't be a physics teacher, although I did take right. physics <laughs> in, <a laughs> right. room, but, uh, in high school. But I wouldn't try to be a physics teacher. But when I walk into a physics class, I know whether or not you're using good teaching and learning strategies. Mm -hmm. So that's important. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, my, the steps that I've taken in coming up through the ranks, though mm -hmm. all those steps were learning experiences for me, mm -hmm. and I, it, it taught me the expectations at each level. And that, that's how I got prepared for the super. Well, I, I would also like to know, um, having all that information and, and doing the, the great job that you're doing, um, what is the direction you see the Dollarway District going into? Um, for one thing, uh, we 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 need to make AYP. Right, <laughs> right. We're we're not we're not going to be a great school district mm -hmm. if we cannot make adequate yearly progress. Right. I know it can be done because right. I'm someone who did make AYP. Right. Now my school that I had in Atlanta was as deep in. To, and I just to use the street vernacular into the hood as you could get. All right. And, and it, before before you go on, I, I just want to uh, apologize. We're we're having some um, uh, construction done, and we're is moving. that the bumping right, sound that's I hear? Bumping and growing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we, we're having some. We're expanding, and uh, uh, you know. Uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a great thing. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. you hear uh, noise on it, just know that we're 
we're moving and moving forward. So. Oh, that's okay. That's mm -hmm. all right. That we, you were saying. We hear noises where I work too right. because we have construction going <laughs> exactly. on. Exactly. We Remember? have a new, uh, uh, what, is that? What? An addition to the high school. Exactly. That's right. A technology based mm -hmm. building. Mm -hmm. So I hear that, that. So I'm right at home right. with okay. the bumping and stuff going <laughs> right. on. But uh, anyway, we're, we have to make adequate yearly progress. Mm -hmm. We have to do that. I know it can be done mm -hmm. because I made it. I, I've done it myself. So mm -hmm. I'm not telling you to do something. And I'm willing to show you how to do it. So now are and we, we put are things we, in the place for that. Are we holding those teachers, principals, the principals. and all? Are we holding them accountable? They, that because is. if you know it can be done, mm -hmm. then I, I know that you're not settling for it not to be done. I'm holding everybody accountable, including myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Including myself. I'll start with myself. Mm -hmm. If we don't make. Uh, adequate yearly progress, mm -hmm. then that indicts me too. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I'm someone who knows how to do it mm -hmm. and apparently have not uh, put enough pressure on people to make it. I hold principals accountable. Okay. That's why when it comes to uh, hiring staff, I'm going to go by what the principal says mm -hmm. most of the time, unless I know some compelling reason right. why they should not have this person. Okay. Then. I won't get it, but I will go on that principal recommendation because if it doesn't work out, I'm holding you accountable. I can show you. I'm, we're going through uh, a series of, of staff, uh, of principals meeting mm -hmm. that we're having where we're giving what I call ongoing tutorial okay. on how to uh, uh, to look for effective teaching when you go into the classroom. So let me get this right. You're, you're, you're giving them uh, the, the staff the uh, tools and the information to be successful. To be successful. You're there for support I'm for them there. being successful. Not only myself, but mm -hmm. my other central office but people your other, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you expect for them to do what you know that they can do. That's right. And I'm in schools mm -hmm. almost every day. I'm at some school mm -hmm. and I'm getting my staff to go out there too because we are going to what? Inspect mm -hmm. what we expect. That's so right. you have to check on things mm -hmm. if you want it and just say, well, you will do this and this is how you do it mm -hmm. and then walk away. you got to go back and check to make right. sure it's done. Well, I, I just want to let you know um, uh, I think that you are doing a wonderful job and um, uh, I, I want you to know or can you tell people if they have any questions because I, I don't know if you guys, uh, does Dollarway um, do uh, student interns or all that? Kind of information. Somebody who would want to uh, be involved with the, the process and the new direction that you're going, how do they get in contact with you? Well, they, all they have to dial is 534 Okay, Does and uh, that's our central office number. Mm -hmm. And um, they can uh, ask for me or ask for Mrs. Hobbs or ask for Ms. Boozer. We're the, 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 the professionals over there. Now, yeah. is there a website? Certified that professionals. Okay. We have a whole certified, we have a whole professional office, mm -hmm. but we are the certified professionals. Okay. There. Is there a website that they can? Uh, we do have a, a website. Um, mm -hmm. Just Google Dollaway School District. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And we, we, we do, we have a lot of information, and we're rebuilding that website, by okay. the way. Mm -hmm. And there are some, uh, some links that you won't be able to get right now, but we are, we have started that process. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I want to thank you again for coming on our show today. Um, I, I know I've been educated and I know our views, viewers mm -hmm. here, so uh, I just want to let you know, Dr. Wright, you have just been placed on alert. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. <laughs> right. we'll, look up, we'll look for that challenge. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm.